Dan from Bizarre Home Decorating here. I'm here today to tell you and show you how to take down the Hunter Douglas Silhouette and Hunter Douglas Pirouette shades. This also does cover the Hunter Douglas Nantucket shades because it uses the same bracket. So here we have the Pirouette shade in a soft touch. And say you need to bring the shade back to us because the motor is loud or it's not operating quite properly. So I'm gonna let the shade go all the way back up and I'm gonna take the shade down here on this shade, we have two brackets, one over here on the right side and one on the left side. And um, they're the clear, brack, clear tabs you see. So with this being a power shade, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the battery wand off and disconnect it. I'm gonna set it in a different location. That way, if something were to happen as I'm taking it down, that battery wand's not gonna fall and you're not gonna have batteries falling all over, all over your windowsill. I'll take each of these clear tabs, I'm going to slide them to the left, and I'll slide this one to the left as well. And now what I'll do is I'm going to take my hands to the back of the shades, and I'm going to pull straight out. And there's that one. And there's this one. And so now I have the shade down. I can disconnect the soft touch wand. It's just a magnet that holds us together. Disconnect it and bring the shade in. If you have a Hunter Douglas Silhouette or Nantucket shade, or even a Pirouette shade, and now, well, the controls broke. I can't get the shade to go back up. How do I bring that shade in? Because more than likely, you're not going to be able to operate the shade when you bring it in. So what we'll do is, again, we're going to slide the same tabs, the same exact bracket, slide the tabs to the left, and now I'm going to pull on one side, and then I'll pull on the other side, and the shade's still down. The best and easiest way to do that is take the bottom rail, take it and hold it just like this where the bottom rail comes right together with the head rail and bring it in like this. Don't try to roll it over. You might damage some veins. And in the car, just kind of gently set it in. Set the head rail in first and then set the fabric in wherever you can find room. We'll take it from there. When it's time to have your shades and put them back up in your house you're going to want to make sure the brackets are still to the left side and what i'm going to try to do is here i'll turn the shade around is i'm going to try to get this part of the metal right in between the plastic and the metal of the bracket or your pla your bracket might be plastic as well and i'll get this in there and i'll see both tabs and i'll push and I'll push and you'll hear it click in and center it in the window by sliding it left and right and that shades in. You'll be able to go ahead and use your Hunter Douglas Silhouette or Nantucket shade again. On the Pirouette, it's going to be much of the same. We're here on the metal head rail. We're going to get in between the plastic tab and the bracket. These brackets happen to be the plastic ones. And I'm not going to put the battery wand in until the shade's up. And so here again, I'll get that one in. I'll get this one in. I can feel both tabs. I got it in the right spot. And I'll push it in. And we'll go ahead and try to pull it out. It won't pull out. Take my wand. Connect the wand back up, take my battery wand, plug it back in. The light will turn green and the shade will work. And that's how you take down a Hunter Douglas Pirouette, Hunter Douglas Silhouette, or Hunter Douglas Nantucket Shade to bring it into Bizarre Home Decorating for your warranty repair.